This is just a little video update of my box turtle and Russian uh, tortoise enclosure. This is a feeding video. There's a little bit more than just feeding going on here, but I just put some uh, food down in the uh, feeding area. A beef heart, uh, night crawlers, and uh, car pegs. And uh, Boris, the Russian tortoise, is rushing forward and getting the heck out of Dodge. He's uh, thinking about interrupting uh, this uh, pair of uh, box turtles that uh, seem to be having. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him go a different direction. Anyway, I sort of wanted to let you guys see what was going on here. This is the female box turtle in the front here. Female in the front and the male has his feet stuck into the back side of her shell. And uh, I think we're gonna have some baby box turtles later on uh, this year. <laughs> she's gonna go out and lay one. She just has a single notch on her shell. She's an adopted uh, box turtle that I received these guys here are just really going to town. They uh, have loved beef heart their entire lives. I've had these uh, uh, these four turtles here uh, since they were just a couple weeks old hatched. That little guy crawling away over there, he's also one of the babies. And uh, oh, I hear something. Anyway, this male box turtle flips over on his back, sticks his feet into underneath her shell where her feet normally go, and then it prevents her from uh, clamping down on his uh, sex organ. Anyway, this is more interesting to watch these uh, turtles arguing and fighting over beef heart, seeing who can eat the most, who can get the most. These are all female uh, box turtles, all my baby box turtles. I had 13 originally, and then I adopted uh, some out to some good families, and uh, two of them came back to me in pretty poor health, but uh, they're back to doing well again. <laughs> this little guy's coming back over to uh, see if he can get some more food, maybe. I think that the uh, night crawler. Here's a chunk of night crawler. Hey, want to eat that? <laughs> there you go. That's Ornetta. She is actually not one of my baby box turtles. She's an adult female. She's actually the mother to uh, quite a few of these uh, turtles here. I'll see if I can talk him into having a bite. You want to eat it? How about you? No? Hey, can you do two things at once? Oh, you guess you can. <laughs> hey, I'm going to just move you over here. There you go. Here, Ornetta. A little piece of worm. There you go. Well, well I don't know what else I'm... Oh, look at... You are ambidextrous. By golly. It's because you're do two things at once. That is a strange the way he flips over on his backside. Hey, or no, Ornette is right here. 
Got another worm. Beef heart. And <laughs> little guys out there walking around. I've got all kinds of little places for the turtles to go and hide. That's uh, Boris, my uh, Russian tortoise, peeking out of that little hide there. These other uh, hides are uh, five gallon uh, buckets cut in half that I buried into the sloping hillside here. And uh, I have a little pool down at the bottom here that's very shallow. It has a, it's actually the back side of a big screen TV that went bonkers on me. And uh, I uh, recycled it. And uh, I'm repurposing the, the back side of that, uh, the back side of the TV. And uh, it makes a perfect sloped, uh, I think it's perfect, uh, sloped uh, area for my uh, box turtles to uh, get a drink or to go swimming. And there's a black tube there, and it's connected to my underground sprinkler system. It has a little on-off valve there, and I have it cracked just a little bit open so that when the uh, sprinklers come on and water my weeds up there on the side of the hillside in that one big wild rose, uh, it adds fresh water to my uh, turtle en enclosure uh, pool. And uh, then over the top of the pool I have a uh, volunteer cherry. And I'm going to bonsai this cherry so that it provides some shade for the uh, pool and uh, keeps it from getting too hot. In the summertime uh, it could be very hot and uh, if a turtle wants to come out of their hide to um, oh, look at who's coming over to see me yes indeed hi there I'll just call him little guy for right now what's he up to <laughs> just squatting down here anyway that's uh, one of my better ideas is to have a little bonsai cherry tree <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it pruned off so that the uh, wire doesn't uh, it doesn't grow through the wire and I'm going to train it with the monofilament fish line over the top of the entire pool. This little guy just out for a walk this morning. They really really do better out in the uh, open. There's a, another box turtle there. Is that Ornetta? Yeah I think that is Ornetta. Well, they ate almost all of the... Uh, oh, in this area here where this oyster shell is, this is the area I'm hoping that they'll dig into. It uh, isn't uh, real soft. Hey, you want some more food? Okay, here you go. I'll feed you a little bit right here. How about that? Huh? Anyway, for... You know, they're not really that... Uh, friendly a creature. I uh, guess you can say that they respond well to food. And uh, oh, hey, do you want another piece of meat? Here you go. I got one saved for you right here. I'll just put it right in front of you. There you go. There. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> That's a piece of beef heart there. Well, it looks like they ate almost everything except this chunk of worm here. Here. Hey. Hey. Come here. Just a second here. Hey, up, up. Here. <laughs> That's oyster shell. Are you going to eat oyster shell? <laughs> yes. Heavens. Well, I guess uh, they know what they like to eat. That's just a piece of oyster shell, a cracked oyster shell that I feed to my pigeons to uh, I also give it to my turtles because I notice that they. Uh, enjoy chewing on it. It helps probably with their mouth parts and whatnot. 
and uh, maybe hopefully oh, spit it back out. There you go. I'm going to give you one more piece of worm. How about that? There you go. You didn't get to go over there and eat. And the boy tortoise. <laughs> Look at that. He's just got his head sticking up. I don't know if it'll show up. But uh, he's in the shade. Comfortable. She's part way in the sun. Not so comfortable. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Their shells, uh, I haven't polished them or anything this year. Uh, they don't seem to mind having dirty shells. But uh, Boris has come back out. He likes to eat this uh, lettuce, that uh, little lettuce patch that I have growing here. He likes to come in here and he just mowed his way right through here and here. And uh, there's it's volunteer sunflower. I got to pull that out eventually. And this is uh, some sort of wild carrot or something like that. I'll have to get some of those pulled out. <laughs> what are you looking at, huh? You're just in between my legs there. Well, oh, look, little guy's going over for a bite of worm. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh, it's all gone. Smelling my finger here. Hi there, little guy. He's not pretty much just exercising in the hot sun. Last year, I'm pretty sure that the three, two female box turtles that were adults laid eggs in here, but I could not find them anywhere. They did not lay them in my uh, chosen spot. Uh, and, uh, hey, she's eating my toe. Holy mackerel. I don't like that. <laughs> I think I'm going to move. This concludes this feeding video and update, video update of my uh, turtle enclosure. They hibernated outside successfully. Here it is, uh, May 7 today. And uh, looks like a couple of turtles are going to go down and enjoy a little swim in the pool this morning. I guess I'm not going to stop the video right now. I love to let everybody see how they uh, go in for a drink of water and maybe a little swim. I've seen some places on YouTube where uh, it shows that box turtles are very comfortable uh, swimming and being in deeper than uh, generally uh, thought of uh, deeper water than they usually are thought of needing or avoiding. They're uh, pretty amazing creatures. They're pretty agile too. But boy, sometimes they get flipped over on their backsides, and that's all she wrote. Just last night, I had one flip over upside down, and it was underneath that hide in the corner there that's made out of a, a third of a log. I don't know how she flipped over, but she was wedged underneath that board, halfway under, and she could not flip back right side up. Those guys are just having a race to see who can get in the shade the fastest. Yeah, with the bright sun out here, uh, box turtles don't do much more than gobble up their food and then go for shade. Now this surely concludes this 14 minute video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, give me a thumbs down and if there's criticism, I love to answer questions on uh, if you put in a, a question or a something that I can maybe help you with. I haven't had turtles that long, probably only oh, five or six years, but uh, I'm keeping them all outside now. And uh, let me know if you got any questions or comments. I'm pretty very happy with the way I have the enclosure this year. I planted white clover, just more and more information. I uh, had grass growing in here last year and it got the better of me. It just grew tall. Uh, not very many of the turtles ate it. So what I did was I um, am reseeding this area to white clover. And then of course, 
I planted some dandelion seeds in here and then the sprinkler goes off every uh, night and I'm going to see if I can get a little uh, broadleaf uh, dandelion uh, perennial crop coming up inside of here and uh, see if I can make a little bit more natural uh, food and a naturalized uh, enclosure for them. Grass just wasn't cutting it. It just got too tall.